Let's talk about a very simple test that you can do right now at home that is associated with the probability of you dying in the next five years. It's called the sitting rising test. I will be demonstrating this, me doing it at 42 years old. Um, so you can just kind of see, it's very simple to do. Basically what you wanna do is cross your legs without using any assistance, go down to the floor and then bring yourself up without using any assistance. And it turns out that you get five points for going down in good form without falling or tripping or needing to touch a table. And if you can get up off the floor without assistance, then you score 10 points on this test. Now, it turns out that less than 8% of people over the age of 50 can do this and get 10 points while doing this. Now, this is really important because numerous epidemiological studies now, various studies actually find this. And I think most doctors should actually be doing this sitting rising test in their office to just see functionally what are the odds that someone will live healthfully and how long will they prevent death or what scientists dub all-cause mortality. Well, it turns out, and there's a paper here uh, published in uh, the journal Preventative Cardiology titled, Sitting Rising Test, Sex and Age Reference Scores Derived from 6,141 Adults. And sadly, they find that less than 8% of men and women over the age of 55 achieved a composite score of 10. So there's a lot of things that you can do, you know, to improve your cardiovascular health, reduce your blood pressure, improve cardio metab uh, improve metabolic health and reduce uh, post meal insulin and glucose. Um, there's a lot of exercise and all that. But what about just something basic like this sitting rising test? Well, I think you should try this at home. As I mentioned, I will demonstrate this so you can kind of see how it's done. Uh, this is not something that you necessarily want to train for and do every single day, but it's a good proxy once a year, twice a year to see, hey, am I trending in the right direction? How is my balance? If you need to work on lower body strength, the strength of your legs, and we've talked a lot about this, we have a whole course called the Glute Masterclass. It's amazing. Uh, you learn how to hip thrust, how to hinge from the hips, how to squat, how to deadlift, and you can do all these things with bodyweight exercises at home, but you your legs tend to atrophy before muscles in the upper body. So I think this is really important for people, especially as they go older, to focus and prioritize lower body strength. And we now have pretty good data. The sitting rising test has uh, numerous studies. I mean, you can go into PubMed, and, and I haven't even spent hours on this. I've spent a you know, little bit of time diving into this, but we have pretty good data finding that poor performance on the sitting rising test is unequivocally linked with poor health outcomes and increased chances of death. So strengthen your legs, work on your balance, incorporate new exercise regimes and uh, programming to strengthen your glutes, your hamstrings, your erector spinae muscles, and so forth, so that you can move more functionally throughout your life. So I would love to know what your score is in the comment section below. My score is a 10. I would love to know what your score is. After doing this, please type that in the comment section after watching this video and share this video so that people understand this test and realize that they should probably focus on balance as well as lower body strength. My favorite exercises are hip thrusts, squats, hip hinges, and that includes deadlifts, that includes the reverse hyper. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do for your glutes, and we've shared all kinds of uh, home workout videos uh, for that that I will link in the cards here. But I would love to know what you're doing to optimize your balance and lower body leg strength. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on a future video down the road.